Welcome to Composite Tap Testing. So you're working in the hangar and suddenly something happens. Something runs into one of your airplanes. Well, what are you going to do? You've got to find out, has there been damage? As much as there doesn't look like anything there, um, we really don't know because we don't know the level of uh, potential delamination of the materials that that impact had. So what do we do? Okay, let's talk about the procedure for actually carrying out a tap test. And so if this was my, my airplane, my composite part, and I was concerned that possibly there had been some damage to it, of course, the first thing that is going to hopefully be a giveaway is there's going to be some sort of surface damage. But not always. In the case of what we just saw, uh, obviously, um, we wouldn't necessarily see any kind of scratching or anything, but that would probably give us our first, hopefully our first uh, idea towards maybe there's been some damage. The next step, of course, is going to be some sort of actual test that we can carry out to hopefully give us a better idea as to the condition of what's going on inside of our piece of material. Okay, so here's our our composite airframe and if we're lucky and if we're working with a composite airframe you're probably going to end up with one of these at some point because this is an actual uh, AC4313 certified tools is built to their kind of standards and so um, we're going to use this as some sort of a tool to give us an audible um, response to tell us whether or not we've got uh, a solid laminate construction or if we've got something that has been delaminated internally. And so if you think about when you hit a drum, when you hit that drum, that whole skin reverberates or, or vibrates as one solid mass, right? And that's, it's tight and solid and so it's going to give us that nice high-pitched noise. But if you were to take that, that dr um, drum skin and you were to put a whole bunch of layers in it and you didn't do them, you know, you didn't tighten them up, What's going to happen is when you hit that top skin, all the other skins underneath, because they're not connected, are going to damp that, that, that ring, that high-pitched noise, right? So we're going to end up more of a thud than an actual high-pitched ring. And it's the same with a composite design. If there's lots of layers in there, which I'm gathering there probably are, if they're all connected and they all act as one, then when we hit them, we get a nice, clear, high-pitched tone. But if those layers are not connected, they've delaminated during the stretching and the bending process during an impact, then there's A, very little strength left, but it's also those layers are going to stop the, um, that, that, that piece of composite from ringing with the high pitch because all the other layers underneath are going to stop the ring. So we get a high pitch noise. Here's a good example. Low pitch noise, high pitch noise, no noise. That's a major change, a thuddy kind of sound as opposed to something that's high pitched. And again, I'm, I'm in an area now where there's delamination, right? Big change. So what we, what we want to do once we've got an idea that maybe there's some delamination in here is we want to start to map it out. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get a, some sort of a document and we're going to lay out our part, right? And then what we want to do is we want to go through that part section by section and really get an idea as to what the state is of each and every square millimeter of that piece of material. So I'm going to go back and forth listening for a change in pitch. Okay, so that whole edge there is pretty good. I'm going to go across, come over a little bit more. Change in pitch there, okay? And so what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to start to lay out here. Obviously, there's some area in here that's delaminated. And so, okay, it's solid again, but it's delaminated in here. Oh, solid. Delaminated, solid, change in pitch. So what I'm getting is I'm getting a bit of a, a line that's coming down here 
and it's kind of going like that. So I'm going to go over here. Okay, and so what I'm getting is something that looks kind of kind of more like that where in here I've got some delamination. So it's dead. bit of a change. So actually, I can, I'm kind of getting a shape that kind of looks a little bit kind of like this. Kind of like a B. Oh, and in the middle, there's D-Lam here. There's a little solid piece. There's D-Lam there. Okay, and so I bet you anything, this is kind of, this is kind of the shape. Same up top. Let's have a look. Yeah, solid, D-Lam, solid, D-Lam, solid, D-Lam, solid. Okay, so I bet you that's kind of the shape. And so this is the area in here that has been delaminated, right? And if I move over... Do more of my top tapping over here. I got something that looks like this. I've got an area on the inside that's solid, but the outside area is solid. And so I got something that's going to end up looking, if I do my full tap test, like that. And so what it allows me to do, if I can draw it out, is I can follow and find where those separations are by just carrying out the tap test. And again, you don't even need something as special as the, the um, hammer. I can use something as simple as a toonie or a loony or a penny washer to help me evaluate the condition of that piece of material. So that's the basics of listening for the potential of delamination in an area on a composite component. The next step would be to get in touch with NDT. NDT are the guys that are going to have to then come and really verify exactly where the separation is and how bad it is. And that will tell us how much strength we've actually lost. So there it is. Tap test 101. And that's what we're going to do.